Hi, it's Amy from Technically Speaking with Amy. This session will cover student completion rules. To be able to set up the student completion rules, all the materials need to be inside a folder. So the first thing I'll do is create a folder. Go inside that folder and I'll start adding my materials. So I'll just add an assignment. Now, I can add my due dates, but they're just going to disappear. But there is a way that you can get those back. So with student completion rules, you um, they don't let you have due dates because they think it's as we go on. But there's a way around that um, in the grade book that you can set that up because it would be nice to have student completion rules that there actually is a due date at the end of the nine weeks or the end of the trimester or the semester. Create that assignment. I'll put a test quiz in there. I'll add an assessment. And a discussion. Then I'm going to click on Options and Student Completion. I get the dialog box, and I'm going to need to add all the materials that I have here. Since I have four things, I'm going to click on this four times. The first one's my assignment. I can use the drop down to pull each of the items in. And then I can choose for this particular assignment. I just want them to view it. If there was something that I wanted them to upload, then I could make it make a submission. Test quiz. I want them to score at least a 75%. The same with the assessment. And then with the discussion, I want them to post a comment or reply. Notice that it says due dates for items will be removed. You can also click on where it says retire requirements must be completed in sequential order and save changes. And where I told you, you could go back in and change the due date is we click on gradebook, then you click on these three dots and choose bulk edit. And I can put due dates from here. Make sure that you save the changes. And if I go back into my course, you can see that I, I now have the due dates on there and they are um, complete it. So student completion rules um, are good for differentiation because you can assign folders to specific students. It's also good for self-pacing um, work with students.